Hello and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss a patient who came in today with a um, particular eye problem and a little bit unusual that doesn't happen very often uh, but this person uh, complained of a painful red eye and they had actually what's called episcleritis. So episcleritis is not a eye infection though it can look like it because the eye is red and inflamed but it's an inflammation and so what happens in episcleritis uh, we're going to go over that but first we need to know what, the, what we're talking about. So the first thing is is that the white part of your eye is called the sclera and then over top of that sclera is a coating called a, the conjunctiva. In between those two layers is the episclera, or there's some really fine tissue just between the, on top of the sclera and underneath the conjunctiva. When people get a pink eye or conjunctivitis, the outer coating of the conjunctiva that contains most of the blood vessels gets infected and their eye gets red and it can look similar to episcleritis. And, uh, but typically with a, a regular conjunctivitis, you don't have pain. And with an episcleritis, you do have pain. So that's one distinguishing factor. And usually the episcleritis is more localized to a portion of the eye, not the whole eye being red and inflamed. There's two types of episcleritis. The most common type that I see is called nodular episcleritis and this patient had nodular episcleritis where there's a little nodule underneath the conjunctiva with a lot of blood vessels around it that are inflamed and then there's either diffuse or simple episcleritis where there's not a nodule it's just an area that's inflamed uh, and so like I said this is an inflammation so there are certain diseases that are associated with having episcleritis. So any autoimmune type disease in that patient can also develop episcleritis, which is an inflammation. So the most common type of autoimmune disease is rheumatoid arthritis associated with episcleritis, but it could be lupus, it could be um, colitis, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, a variety of different types of um, inflammatory diseases like ankylosing spondylitis and so all the itises sort of have a sort of similar characteristic so they can be associated together. Um, typically speaking this is a self-limited disease and some websites and information you may look up say it's a self-limiting benign disease but that's not always the case. I have another patient that I'm following here as well who has a episcleritis and now has it in both eyes and has been worked up for rheumatoid and uh, autoimmune diseases up north and has been on systemic medicines for that but isn't really sure they're on, she's on the right medicine and we've been treating her now for a couple of months and as soon as we try to taper off the medicine it flares back up and now it's gone to the other eye and she recently saw the rheumatologist here locally had all the blood blood work done is going back to see the rheumatoid the rheumatologist to decide if she has a type of autoimmune disease which probably would be rheumatoid arthritis in her case and she probably may need systemic treatment to calm down her scler episcleritis so what do we, how do we treat episcleritis? The most common treatment is corticosteroids or prednisone or cortisone eye drops and then can be also um, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines which are like Advil uh, type medicines or Motrin that are in eye drop form and so we can sometimes use that as well or a combination of both. Usually, like I said, it does go away and it's self-limited. In some cases, people can get it and a year or two later get it again because it can recur just like any autoimmune type disease. Uh, and like I said, in most cases, it's not chronic like this one patient who just keeps having trouble. So, if you have any questions about episcleritis, you can always contact us through the website. I'll be happy to try to answer any questions. If not, May God grant you with healthy eyes and great vision.